Today, a judge sentenced the son of Burns police chief to three years home detention and five years probation. This all comes after 23-year-old Andrew Taylor pled guilty to molesting the family's 13-year-old foster child. News Channel 15's Sarah Schaefer has that story. The family of Andrew Taylor seemed content with the sentencing, smiling as they left the courtroom. As for the victim, she wasn't here and there was no one here representing her. After his plea agreement is accepted, 23-year-old Andrew Taylor was ordered eight years, five on probation and three on home detention. Far from what Wes Schimenauer, special prosecutor out of Jay County, wanted. I asked for a 12-year sentence with four of it suspended, meaning eight years executed in prison. Um, I felt like the aggravating circumstance in this case being uh, that the defendant was in a position of trust uh, with regard to his victim certainly outweighed the mitigating factors. The victim was the Taylor family's 13-year-old foster child. According to court documents, back in October, Taylor asked her to perform oral sex on him, and she agreed. He later told his father, Burns Police Chief Tim Taylor, before turning himself in, the judge ruled the fact Taylor self-reported, sought help, cooperated, and took responsibility carried more weight than the prosecution's factors. In addition, the fact that he is in counseling, he didn't threaten to hurt the victim, and it can't be said she is suffering. And that's because she wasn't there, nor was anyone representing her. Is there anything you wanted to say, Drew? Well, thank you, ma'am. We're good. No comment. Are you happy with the sentencing? Will you be speaking with us? The judge had powerful words for Taylor regarding his brother who was killed in the military in 2012. He said he should be honoring the living and the dead. I think the judge sort of nailed it on the head uh, that uh, it's really not an excuse um, uh, for that kind of behavior. Um, certainly in these kind of situations, it's very difficult on the family for everybody. It's really a tragedy all the way around. We asked the prosecutor if he thinks home detention is equivalent to jail time. He said no. Reporting from Decatur, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.